to the Federation of Mungano, we have been able to protect so many slums which were on the threats of eviction, and they are, they are there even now, like toy market. It has existed over 20 years since eviction. We have so many villages which have existed, and yet they were on threats of eviction. We have been able to make our people get land through the savings. They've been able to purchase land outside the village. There are those who have been able to build houses, like in Uruma, we have about five projects. We have Uruma, Ambimoto, we have Ghetto, we have uh, Mahera, we have Gidatu, we have Kawa Soweto, where houses have been built for the community, even though they are not enough for the people, but houses are there for the community themselves. And also we have been able to influence policy developments which are for, for poor. poor. Like previously, we didn't have the policy on, on land. But since 2004, we were able to work with the Minister of Land and the Minister of Housing to push, to push for house policy and uh, land policy, which was uh, enacted in 2009, 2009, which is session of paper number three of 2009. And that uh, national Land Policy is the one which has created the Office of the National Land Commission. And now, even though we have a conflict between the Cabinet Secretary on Land and the, the Chairman of the National Land Commission, but that is how the Constitution has given that responsibility on land issue. We also, we have also been able to participate in many policies like, like uh, Eviction and Resettlement Bill, which is supposed to be completed soon which will control the eviction scene. Every time, when you want to do eviction in Kenya, you must use that uh, guideline. Because that is the major problem we have, that people have been evicted in midnight, people have been evicted during the rainy season, and the violation of rights has been done so many years. So, but if we can have that policy, it will guide. When you want to do eviction, what time are you supposed to do it? What are you supposed to do for the people who are, who are the, the victims of the evic uh, eviction? And uh, how are you supposed to conduct the eviction? So it has steps for you to follow before you evict somebody from the land. And we also uh, managed to participate in the community land bill, which is also helps uh, to protect the land of the community, like uh, outside Nairobi, like uh, Masai land, uh, northeastern part of Kenya, where people use land as a communal uh, property, and also, like those houses we are doing in Nairobi, they are supposed to be under that policy for communal use, because uh, we have seen so many areas where people are given houses, they sell, and then they go to squat another area, and they claim they are homeless, so it is like they, they are doing business with the government, so that problem cannot end. So we are saying, once the government do their, their housing project like in Kibera, they should not issue individual title. They must give a communal ownership title to control people from selling that uh, property. You see people get a lot of money when they are selling land. So they know once you, are, you have a piece of land within the city, you are rich. So we, we, are, we are fighting for that. And we also participated in the uh, New Water Act of 202, which, uh, which was uh, focusing on uh, accessibility of water to informal settlements. Previously, water was becoming very expensive. So through that policy, we have been able to, to help our people get more water and sanitation within their areas. And even though there is no planning, but we can use that uh, policy. Mm -hmm. And even the price of water was rising every, every day. But through that policy, it has been controlled. It is not so expensive. And also, we were able to participate in, uh, in the land use, which is not... Uh, the process was stopped, I don't know why. There is another one which is up and up and up and planning. Which, which was supposed to be to guide the, 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 the urban development and uh, national urban development policy. 
and also we we have been able to mobilize more people. We have been able to create the relationship with the government, like the Ministry of Office, and the, 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 the Housing Office. So I think through the Federation we have been able to do a lot and help more people come together for one purpose. Because that was the only way of uh, engaging with the, uh, the government, the political leaders, and even also fighting for our rights. And even fighting for the Bill, Bill of Rights in the new constitution of Kenya. It is because of the pressure from the social movements and the civil society. Because the Bill of Rights was eliminated, but because of the pressure we had, it was uh, 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 put in the, in the constitution. The biggest achievement is uh, those people who have been able to build houses, and the, the government is using that example to show that the, people can, the poor people can, can do housing, they can solve the problem of structure owners and tenants. And also, we have been able to buy land for toy market members, which is uh, along Kangulo Road. And uh, many of Mungano members have been able to get skills. Some of them, they, they have skills on building houses. Some of them have been able to do computer, because when we were doing enumeration, People were trained on how to do keying in the names and the information, all information from the community. They were able to get the information. And also exposure, many people have been able to have international exchanges, they share and they learn from others. And others have been able to get jobs outside Kenya through Mungano. So to me, I don't really see any downfall because the Federation has been able to, to awaken many people in the informal settlement who are not aware that they can engage the government and they can push the government. Like the project of the railway, we were able to go to India with the government officers and we managed to, 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 to talk with them and they learned a lot from India and when they came back, they said no, we are not supposed to evict people from around the railway, we can do housing within a certain space and the others we do the development for railway, the railway line. And the houses have been done, which was not possible. And it is because of Mungano.